We can now manage updates for macOS devices via Intune. Let me show you how. Heading over to the Endpoint Manager Admin Center or the Intune portal, whatever we're going to call it today. We're going to choose Devices, macOS Devices, and we're going to jump right down to the bottom, Update Policies for Mac OS in Preview. No profiles by default. Obviously, let's just create a profile. I'm going to call it Update Profile for Mac OS and choose Next. And we have some options, which is fantastic. So we get to choose the update behavior for a Mac OS device. For critical updates, let's take a look at the options here. We can choose download and install, download only, install immediately, notify only, or install later. Those are the options we've got for all of these categories here. So we'll choose download and install here for critical, and the same for firmware, same for configuration file, and same for auto and same for all other updates. Now the thing to be aware of is that if you are using Apple Silicon, you do need to have the bootstrap file, which is automatically generated when you enroll an Apple device, but just be aware of that requirement as well. So once this is all configured, it's simply a case of checking your schedule. So at the moment, you can see it's set to update at next check-in. So as soon as this policy is deployed, and the device checks in, it will receive the latest update. That might be okay, but you might want to also specify some more control around that. So you might want to say that updates during a scheduled time, for example, and then you can specify the time zone and then the start day and start time for your time window. Let's say, for example, if we want the updates to install on a Monday at 7 a.m. and end on Monday at 10, 11 a.m., then the updates will only be available for automatic install between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. on a Monday. That's probably the worst setting you can possibly have in a business environment, but there you go, that's what I've set. We'll choose next, deploy this to all devices and choose next, and then we're ready to go. Create that, that is now gonna configure automatic updates for all of my Mac devices in the environment. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you've liked this video, please hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any comments. See you next time.